Adobe's Creative Cloud offers a great set of apps for creators of all levels. With plans starting at around $10 per month and going up from there, depending on which plan you choose, the cost can add up. In this video, I'll show you the best free Creative Cloud alternatives for many of the popular programs, including Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, and many others. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Adobe Lightroom is a photo management and editing tool all in one. Here are two Lightroom alternatives for you to try out. Raw Therapy, as the name suggests, is great at editing raw photo files, along with most other formats. It doesn't offer the greatest user interface, but it does include many of the same features as Lightroom, including non-destructive editing and batch processing. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Darktable is another Lightroom alternative that some people prefer over Raw Therapy. In addition to its cleaner looking user interface, it also offers non-destructive editing, so your original images are never modified. It can also import a variety of standard, raw, and high dynamic range image formats. Darktable is available for Windows, Mac, and the various Linux distros. Adobe Photoshop is the king in terms of popularity when compared to other image editing software. Despite its awkward name, the absolute best free alternative to Photoshop is GIMP. This professional quality image editor has so many features that you won't miss using Photoshop, including layers, effects, filters, drawing tools, and a whole lot more. It supports most of the popular file formats, and plugins can be added to give you more control. Most people will agree that the interface has never been that great, but a recent update has improved it quite a bit. GIMP is available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Adobe Illustrator is a vector graphics editor that's used to draw illustrations, diagrams, charts, logos, and other types of art. When creating new artwork, use Illustrator or something similar. A vector graphic will never lose its quality if it's scaled up or down. If you work with vector graphics, the best free alternative that you'll find is Inkscape. There are various tools for object creation and manipulation, and its SVG format file compliance makes it a suitable substitute for Illustrator. If you've used Illustrator in the past, you should have no trouble figuring out how to use Inkscape. You can get it on either Linux, Windows, or Mac. Adobe After Effects is an excellent tool for creating visual effects and motion graphics. While there are no free alternatives that share the full feature set of After Effects, Blender is a powerful free tool that a lot of people use that can help to get you some of the same results as its Adobe counterpart. In fact, Blender is preferred by many professionals to create 3D visual effects and realistic animated graphics. Without knowing it, you've probably seen a lot of the projects on TV or in films that were created using Blender. Like many programs in this video, Blender is open source and available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Adobe InDesign is not as well known as the others mentioned. It's used in desktop publishing to create posters, magazines, flyers, brochures, and other types of documents. The best free alternative to InDesign is Scribus, which has all the tools you need, including font management, color profiles, and also supports vector drawing tools. It has a very similar layout of grids, frames, and layers, making the transition from InDesign to Scribus easier. The latest stable release is available for all major operating systems. Adobe Premiere Pro is a timeline-based video editing program that is very popular. There are several great free alternatives. Here's a few I've used that I've recommended in the past. Shotcut is one of the easiest video editors to use with a ton of features. All for free, not locked behind a paywall. It supports most of the popular media formats and even supports 4K resolutions. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Also available for the three major operating systems is the easy to use OpenShot Video Editor. It's packed full of features, including no limit on how many layers you can have in your project and includes video transitions. And DaVinci Resolve is a professional video editing tool that's been used to edit TV shows and movies. It supports most file formats and allows for multicam editing and advanced trimming. 
The audio mixing capabilities are great as well, with Fairlight Audio built into the program. The features in the free version of DaVinci Resolve will be enough for most people. If you require multi-user collaboration, along with other features, including noise reduction, the premium version will set you back $299. Adobe Audition is a digital audio workstation for recording and mixing audio for video, podcasting, and sound effect design. Audacity is the best free alternative to Audition. It's open source and available on every major operating system. Just about every feature you would need is included. It supports a variety of file formats and plugins can be installed to add extra functionality to Audacity. It now includes different themes to change up the look, including this dark theme, which has a nice contrast and helps to reduce eye strain. Adobe Animate is useful for creating animated content for cartoons, games, apps, and other interactive content that can be published to multiple platforms. Synfig Studio for Windows, Linux, and Mac is the best free replacement for Animate. This open source 2D animation program provides tools that produce high quality animations using less resources. The manual vector tweening saves you the time and hassle of drawing each and every frame. If you can afford to support the project, you have the option to donate before downloading. Otherwise, you can get it for free by entering zero in the price field. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. Do you use a free program that's a great alternative to any of the Creative Cloud apps? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with the latest in technology from Tech Umbo.